hello everyone welcome back to the channel we have a new update uh, about ltx video model that is dedicated for video generation this uh, update has better prompt understanding and can give you better detailed generation and the most impressive thing is it can create longer image to video generation or video to video but also uh, we have uh, the new feature of using control net like depth pose and canny in order to do video editing based on a reference image and the reference video so today i will try to show you how you can download the model and use the custom workflow in order to use it more easily so without further ado let's dive into the tutorial before proceeding any further this video is divided into two parts the first part we're gonna see the workflow dedicated for video editing using uh, control net and the second part we will be focusing on generating longer image to video using this ltx model so Let's first start by the installation part. If you have the LTX video nodes installed, make sure to update it using the ConfiUI manager here. Just under the manager on the search bar, type in LTX video, and here you can tr click try update. This way, you will update your uh, nodes in order to use those workflow. Otherwise, make sure to go this GitHub link. You can find it under my description. Just copy the code here under custom nodes of your ConfiUI root folder. Type in CMD and here type in git clone and paste your link here. Click enter and it will install everything for you. Okay, once it is done, go back to this GitHub link and here you can see the uh, recent update that was released for this LTX video model. We have two versions the 13 billion parameter distilled model. The 13 billion parameter distilled model 8 bit and the other version which is the 2 billion parameter distilled model and the 8 bit version we also have the ic lora detailer in order to add more detail during the video generation so here we have some explanation regarding the auto regressive generation which will allow you using this ltx video looping sampler add more length and consistent motion during the video and if you click here you can see that we have two main workflow the long image to video generation workflow and the long video to video generation workflow we also have this detailer ic lora workflow which uh, regroup the control net usage of this ltx video so let's first start by that so you will need to download the, the models first for my case i am using six gigabyte of vram using uh, rtx 3060 so i downloaded this 13 billion distilled model 8 bit just use this link here and download it. You will also need this depth control, pose control, and canny edge control LoRa for the workflow. Just use this link too. And here, click on file and version. You can see that uh, we have uh, two versions. Make sure to use this comfyy.safe tensor. Once it is done, go to your comfyy road folder, enter model. Make sure to pass your uh, depth uh, or pose LoRa here, as you can see there are two files here and for the model make sure to copy uh, under checkpoint uh, model so this way we will use uh, the, the new model more easily make sure to restart your comfy UI and we are good to go okay once you restart your comfy UI make sure to drag and drop my workflow here and the first step that you're gonna start with is the models here you can see that there is a lot of model that we're gonna load Starting with the IC LoRa depth control, the IC LoRa pose, and the IC LoRa canny. We also need this load checkpoint in order to load the main model, the DX video 13 billion parameter. For the load clip, make sure that you have the T5X6L FP8 version and the type set to LTX video. After that, since we are using a reference image and video, we have here this load video for your uh, reference video and the load image for your input image. And this image was created directly using this uh, first video. All I need to do is using this load video, search for select image node, then use this, then use this save image. Here you can see the indexes I set it to zero, which is gonna use directly this first image from the video. It's gonna extract it and save it for you. Once it is done, I used flux context in order to change the style of this first image. And I asked uh, for it uh, to change the style to Ghibli style while keeping the details. 
if you want to know more about flux you can see my previous tutorial okay once it is done i enter this image here then here then into if you look closer into this image resize you can see the width and the height of this image of the video as you can see you can choose many different video but using my 6 GB of VRAM I am using this resolution and I managed to generate video uh, easily the same goes for the image you need to pay attention of your resolution uh, must be at the same resolution of your video in order to have good consistency but don't worry for that all you have to do here is import your image and your video and this custom workflow will do everything automatically for you in order to generate a video from a reference video you need some additional data those data two types the first one is the input image that, that we uploaded here and the second type of data is the control net data it can be a depth control map which is a depth map of the reference video it can be a pause control which is gonna create a video based on the movement uh, and the motion of your reference video and it can also be a canny video data which are the edge creating from a reference video so we have all those three here uh, you can change uh, the type of data based on your need if you wanna for example change the style of the, your video like we will do here you will definitely use this depth control and if you wanna only change the background of uh, the image you will have uh, to use this uh, IC pose control net you can also use the canny control net for uh, style changing but i did not try it and the best way to do that is using this depth pose canny switch as you can see here we have different uh, no and all those nodes here are connected with this lora loader models and also this preprocessor image here you can see that we have the depth anything the depose estimator and the canny if you take closer look here we have an input and the output the input is gonna be the video that we resized from uh, the using this image resize or you can directly use this link here and plug it uh, into this depth anything but don't worry i automated everything for you then this depth anything is gonna create our depth map if you are uh, selecting the switcher here into value one as you can see we have different value from one to three for depth you can use the one for pose you can use the two and for canny you can switch to three all you have to do here is select your value and it will do everything for you so for example here i am using the depth so make sure it is selected to one this way it's gonna use this uh, depth control lora model directly and depth anything nodes in order to generate uh, the, the needed data then this data is gonna be a video that will be resized into our width and height that we selected earlier after that it's gonna be encoded and here we have the LDX base video sampler it's gonna take into consideration the positive the negative prompt the model used the preset which is the 13 billion parameters we have here our optional conditioning image which is this reference image our guiding latent which is this video created based on our control net in that case the depth uh, control net or the depth video is gonna be plugged directly here and we have the sigma the sampler is set to Euler the random noise is set here to fixed I leave it to you if you want to increase or change uh, change it to randomize in order to obtain different uh, results and we also have the VAE after that our LTX in context sampler is gonna decode the video using the this set VAE decoder noise which has different parameter too but I did not play with it and lastly we will have our video combined here which has 24 frames and if you take a closer look here I set the frame cap to 121 frames which is the length of our video during my test I found that this, that is the optimum value that I can increase in order to obtain a good consistency if I am using a higher value the consistency of the video will be lost and uh, this may be the first uh, drawback of this model the, the other thing that I want to talk about is prompting as you can see I am using here the Florence to run prompting which will uh, create a prompt based on this reference first image 
then this prompt is automatically included here into this clip text encoder positive prompt and it will do everything automatically for you so you don't need to bother yourself too much using this workflow let's see the results for our ltx control net video generation first i start with this video of the man holding a camera then i use this input image and you can clearly see the results here it is outmatching perfectly the movement of the camera and the, the guy in my second video i wanted to do uh, some background change and also a style change using this boxer animation here first results was very good it has a uh, good motion transfer but it still um, have some issue here regarding the eyes then i tried to change the background of this image using a desert background and as you can see i could not manage to change it uh, easily since we still have the details of our uh, old video so to do that what i did is i switched it from depth control net into the pose control net and as you can see i succeeded to change the background easily while keeping the motion of the box i also did another background change and as you can see we managed to change the background while animating the, the guy. You can also see that the background is animated. And this was made possible using the combination of flux context and the, the and pose control net using this LTX video. And the main advantage using this technique is it can do it uh, more faster compared to one base model, even at higher resolution using a low VRAM okay the next workflow that i want to talk about is the longer image to video generation it is also a simple workflow composed of different main groups so for the models all you need is this load checkpoint in order to load the ltx video model checkpoint the clip loader for the t5 xxl and that's it the main advantage of this model is it is including uh, directly a vae for decoding our video then here we have our prompt section here there is a small difference uh, compared to previous uh, workflow we have the clip text encode and we also have this multi prompt provider and uh, in order to create image to video for this new model you will you need to focus on this multi prompt provider and the main advantage of uh, this model is it uh, only uses a small prompt compared to previous uh, LTX video model that has a complex uh, prompt in order to create video from image or text. As you can see, I also included example of prompts that I used for this video. And all of them are short prompts describing the input image. For example, here I am taking this uh, image of a uh, warrior with the uh, angel wings. And as you can see, I add only a woman saying hi to the camera and smiling. And this is a result of my prompting. So it only needs a small prompt in order to animate uh, your image. You also have a negative prompt here, but uh, I don't bother myself too much with it. Then here we have our reference image main group for this main group i add uh, different nodes starting with the load image in order to import your image here we have the width and height of our videos and we also have the length if you pay closer attention here you can see that the value of the length is very high compared to what we used to do using one video models so or honey one or even the old ltx video it is a longer video compared to our previous uh, video and here we have our resize image what is gonna do is gonna resize our input image based on the width and height that we set here so i always uh, make sure to optimize the process for you in order uh, to use it more easily this image is gonna then encode it here once it is resized and we have also this empty ltx video latent is gonna encode our video if we jump to this ltx video looping sampler we also have two latent the guiding latent and the, the, the latents once it is for vae decode and the other one is for this empty and latent video for the other notes it is the same notes that we saw on the first prompt and for all the other uh, parameters i did not touch it since it uh, i obtained the good result uh, using my rtx uh, 3066 gigabyte after that our video is gonna be uh, saved on 24 frames and it's up to you now to choose uh, and animate different image based on your taste or or your uh, work okay now let's see the results together okay then i try to animate this man riding nipopotam using the second workflow and here are the results as you can see 
it is very consistent the movement and the physics of the water are very uh, important and very close to origin see while it is working it is generating some waves here and so on video remain consistent even uh, at this uh, long amount of time as you can see we managed we managed to generate 15 uh, seconds of the this video using only an image and a simple prompt the same goes for this uh, woman riding a lion you can clearly see that uh, it is following the prompt and uh, it can animate uh, the image based on our prompt however we still uh, managed to get some issue using the face of the woman here and also the eyes of the lion here we still uh, have some issue here and the last video is this uh, warrior woman here with angel wings and I ask for the prompt uh, for it to smile and say hi and as you can see it is saying hi but uh, after some amount of time it starts to uh, do some weird things like changing the swords here and zoom in into lady's face okay that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to become a patreon member of my patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow some comfy wine news and you can also ask me to build a custom workflow or uh, anything related to Comfy UI. So thank you.